Antennas are electrical devices that convert electric power into radio waves and vice versa. They are essential components of common telecommunication systems such as radio, TV broadcasting, routers, radar, cell phones or satellite communications. Antennas have different shapes depending on the application they are going to be used for. Typical shapes are the wire, the loop and the helical antenna. However, first of all, how do antennas work? They emit and receive electromagnetic waves. The distance traveled by the wave in one period is called the wavelength. The antenna design rule implies that the length or diameter of a particular antenna has the same scale as the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave to use. But all of these is already old technology. People think that the best way to escape war could antenna be used for faster communications or new applications? Yes, they could, making them much smaller. How small? Down to the nanoscale, invisible for the human eye. Hello, my name is Jose Caridad and this is what my research is about. I study the electromagnetic properties of the antenna at the nanoscale. Particularly, I focus my research on helical nanostructures. Matter at the nanoscale is not easy to handle. Samples have to grow inside the special machines in a clean environment. So this is the machine where we are going to grow the nanohelices. It's basically a metal evaporator. And this is the wafer where we are going to grow uh, these samples. It's just a silicon wafer, uh, uh, the size is 4 inches diameter. The idea is to place this wafer inside the chamber, put it under vacuum, and then evaporate the metal. Once the growth is finished, samples are removed from the evaporator machine. Then they will be morphologically characterized by a high resolution electron microscope. So even with the naked eye, we can see the novel properties of these helical nanostructures. This is a piece of nickel, which is the metal that the helices are made from. It's, it has a shiny gray color typical from all the metals. Meanwhile, this is the color of the actual helical structures. It is a dark color, which means that they absorb most of the incident light. What are the potential applications of these helical nanoantennas? Due to their small size, they allow us to communicate faster, to generate electrical signals from solar energy, or they can be used in medical therapy. In conclusion, Nowadays, there is the opportunity to reduce the antenna size to the nanoscale. Nanoantennas are useful not only for communication purposes. They can be used in multiple applications. They really are the antennas of the 21st century. <laughs>